Let's continue to build our missing operators game. Now we are at almost the final leg of this because we already are asking a question which is using two operators randomly chosen and three numbers. Now the only thing that we are left with really with respect to this game is that you know we have to determine if the answer being provided by the user is correct or not. In fact, we had already done this. Let's go back to what we had done with a single uh, with like a single operator, two numbers. We can just take this code and we will be extending this idea in just a moment. So I take this code and I copy this, you know, so I paste it, let's say, uh, you know, down here. So I paste it here. Now remember that my answer is going to be a string with two characters because it's plus 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 minus and so on and so forth, which means that I must now look at both the characters and make sure both of them are correct. The way I'm going to do that is that I'm going to say, look, if answer zero is equal to OP list, remember the first operator was determined by OP one. And in this case, we are looking at only zero and one. So that's all right. But first operator is determined by OP one because if OP one is zero, then we add if OP one is one, we subtract. So I say if answer zero is equal to OP list OP one and answer, you know, answer, let's say uh, answer one is equal to op list say op2 in fact that's all we need to do because everything is set up correctly we have those lists available and all we are saying is that both elements of this answer should be correct for us to declare the right answer we can test this now um, you know so if i say please tell me a number say 12 i say for example 34 uh, now obviously the answer here is say minus so i say my, uh, oh sorry it was plus so i gave a wrong answer uh, I misread it. Um, now the next question is 12 plus 12 plus 34 is 46 minus 2 is 44. So it's going to be plus minus and indeed it says well done. Now really as you see this is a because of a code was so compactly done uh, hence this became quite of easy for us to write. Now before I wrap this up I just want to highlight this very interesting things going on here. We are comparing strings uh, because answer is a string and what we are doing is really just one character of the string just looking at one character of the string which is kind of in scratch parlance like letter one of answer because if i take a letter one as a word or a string that means that letter one of that you know if i take answer as, as, as let's say a word or a string then letter one of that is basically same as answer zero again keep in mind that in index in python indexing starts at zero unlike in scratch where everything started with one so when I'm saying answer zero is equal to op list op one, really I'm just checking answer zero to op plus zero. Answer zero, answer is let's say plus minus. Answer zero is plus, which is same as op list op one. Um, now keep in mind that op list is the list of strings, whereas answer is a string, and we are able to compare because we are really doing a string to string comparison. Also notice the and condition over here, but you see that. Because we had set up the code nicely in the beginning, it's easy for us now to ext extend this code and, you know, uh, get this, let's say, done. All right. So I hope you found this useful. And in general, as always, if you think this mode of learning is interesting, do look at our website, ybyte.in. We are learning Python programming through a lot of fun activities like this. Take care. Thank you so much.